Hi, my name is Dave Ryan. I'm a 52-year-old illustrator. I do comic books, paintings, I teach, and I also help out my buddy Ron Simone with One Stop Realty Shop doing his graphics. His, does, I designed his superheroes for him. Um, basically help him out with all of his marketing, his advertising pictures, and um, anything else he needs. So um, why don't we take a walk inside and check out the studio and see what yeah. it's all about. Going into our dining room down here. Our minds are brainstorming. Hello, girls. Hello. Hi. Perhaps you'll recognize from Dawn from One Stop Reality Shop. Hi. This is the lovely Mrs. Ryan. Nilda. <laughs> Three girls working on. We're just working on this little ad here. Some of the flyers for the properties. Mm -hmm. One stop ads, we're just gonna replace the listings. Okay. And keep the superheroes. Who are those superheroes over there? What is this picture? Uh, this is a picture of Chuck Wepner. He mm -hmm. is um, the real Rocky. The, mm -hmm. His life story was based on Rocky Balboa's mm -hmm. uh, the movie. And uh, he was picked in the 70s to fight Muhammad Ali. So, mm -hmm. <coughs> Sylvester Stallone saw the movie. So this is my studio. Mm -hmm. um, I saw her off pretty early. I guess I was probably five years old when my mother saw that I was not tracing uh, comic books. And she signed me up for John Anthony's art school. Uh, I was, um, I guess that was back in 1970. We used to, get, I used to get off at kindergarten and walk up four blocks by myself to uh, the art school. And my dad would pick me up at 6.30. By that time I was starved, so. <laughs> but I was playing a lot of sports, so I sort of went in and out of, you know, collecting and drawing. And um, as you can tell, I'm almost 6'6", six, six, so I played mm -hmm. basketball, football and stuff, so. It was only after high school and in college I really got back into drawing and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and I started doing comics probably in the early 90s around there. Yes. Uh, maybe late 80s or so. And How old uh, were you at the, the moment when you started? Oh, in the 90s I was probably, I think I was 27 maybe. Somewhere well, around um, yeah. In the early 90s um, I got to work on uh, Marvel Comics Presents which was like a where they put new artists and they tried out new artists and you got uh, seven to eight, seven pages uh, an issue and there's like three or four guys in the every issue. So I was doing something on um, X-Men villains and I had Deadpool and, and um, Juggernaut and all these guys together. And I had this one guy who had um, Wolverine cut his hand off in the comics and he was a Japanese guy and he had a mechanical hand. So I drew the mechanical hand with all these little parts on it. and. Uh, <clears throat> then Marvel Comics Presents got cancelled before the book came out, so... But anyway, they saw the mechanical hand and the, the, uh, my, this other editor said to me, Oh, um, let's do a Punisher-Deathlock crossover, and Deathlock is uh, a cyborg, so... Hence he got the mechanical hand. So I went over to the uh, Deathlock editor and I said, you know, told him this other editor's idea, and he said, well, maybe you can redesign Deathlock, which was, you know, intimidating for me. I was you know, read the Deathlock. So anyway, I tried to and they didn't like it. <laughs> so uh, I did I did a normal shot of uh, Deathlock and Punisher. Um, and I happened to go back over to the Deathlock's editor and he said to me, uh, oh, Dave, you ink, right? Which I never did ink. I was always a frightened of inking because you make one mistake ink and all the ink goes all over the place. So I was like, yes, I ink. <laughs> so, so he says, here, you know, ink. Uh, Ink this issue of Deathlock, or it was like half the issue or something. And I was like, okay. And I took it home and I immediately called my friend and I asked him, you gotta help me. <laughs> but you never say no to a project. So always learn how to do it, you know. Yeah. Um, that's my friend Jimmy Palmiotti told me that one. <laughs> so mm -hmm. so uh, from there, I, I, with the same editor, I got work doing um, Robocop. Nice. Because in the same vein, he was like, oh, you do metal. You know how to do metal. And, and uh, which, you know, I, I really didn't. <laughs> 
but you get uh, typecast mm-hmm. into something. It's so mm-hmm. like in every field, you know. Yep. The the boss or somebody knows you do this certain thing, so he comes to you all the time with that. Like if you make great coffee, oh, you make great coffee. So go make the coffee, you know. So, <laughs> so I did metal, and then so that was, like, I did a couple issues of uh, Robocop, and then I did some independent books like Xenia mm-hmm. was a, she was like a, a witch character at the time. This was this was before Xena was Xenia. Uh, she was uh, it was great we worked at Rich Kane Ferguson and uh, mm-hmm. Greg and Tim Hildebrand and Louis, uh, Louis Small Jr we had fun um, and then I did a couple of independent projects here and there but comics really is is a sporadically paid thing so you know I went over and did some you know, freelance art work and stuff like that you know fashion design uh, wallpaper design mm-hmm. Um, I worked for Scholastics, Disney, mm-hmm. uh, all these different characters. Mm-hmm. Wherever you go, they threw you. Yeah. Yeah. I drew fashion models for Sears. It was <laughs> it's like all over the place, you know. It's whatever they're paying for, whatever the company send you, you you wind up doing it, which is pretty mm-hmm. good because you mm-hmm. learn all these different things, you know. Mm-hmm. behind here and then you guys are going to shut the door on. You know what I'm saying? That's all right. Trust me. Trust me, it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. Of the place we lived when we were young In a world of magnets and miracles Our thoughts trade constantly So back in 2010, uh, I moved back from L.A. to New Jersey. And, and I reconnected with Ron Simone, and he was working at his dad's uh, real estate company at the time. And um, <clears throat> he asked me to do some uh, advertising stuff for him, so I did a couple of banners and stuff like that. Ron had been kicking around ideas about going on his own for a couple of years. Um, so finally he made the move <clears throat> last year. And um, I changed the colors and his logo and everything, and I changed his superhero into his, um, what he is now in a uh, one-stop realty shop with the, uh, with the logo on his chest. So now uh, any realtors who join his company, I transform them into superheroes as well. So <laughs> it's got a little superhero team going on there. And my wife Nilda helped, she does little, tons of stuff, the uh, forums and advertising and uh, just about anything else Ron needs. And uh, you know, we do little, uh, little ads for over holidays, you know, Easter, we may put the bunny ears on them, and uh, it's pretty fun. It's been a lot of fun working with Ron doing stuff and uh, helping him out, getting him started his business. Uh, he's a fantastic guy, so I'm glad he's moving. He's glad he moved on his own because he can really do it. And I'm sure his father's very proud of him. So, we had a couple of new comic books coming out now. As I said before, this is War of the Independence, it is number four. It's got the Tick and Gumby, Pokey, and this is a spectacular Don Simpson cover with Polk Stigley, the co-writer. Mm-hmm. And on the back here is cover B, not cover A, cover B, with Rick Parker. Rick Parker worked on the Beavis and Butthead and all sorts of stuff. I don't know if you want to know about that. We have Gumby, and Pokey, Milk and Cheese, Too Much Coffee Man, Rat Bastard, Cliff Galbert's Rat Bastard right up there. Flaming Carrot, Reed Fleming, Zippy the Pinhead, Toxie, Protoplasm Man, Felix the Cat. And he's over here, Felix, also. This is in um, the catalog right now. It'll be in stores in about two months. Also in the catalog we have here is the prestigious Joe Martino's Cybereens. They're super-powered Marines. It is a super cool book. <laughs> All coming out from Red Anvil Comics. Nilda, why don't you tell us a little about your little Etsy shop? Oh, my Etsy shop is called Champagne and Ice Cream. Mm. And there are printables and graphic designs of superheroes for parties or just for collecting or putting on your children's wall. And there are also invitations for weddings, pamphlets, those type of things. You can order things directly off the website or you can ask for a custom design. So 
right, thanks a lot from Red Evil Comics, Champagne and Ice Cream, and One Stop Reality Shop. All right, now get out of here. Takes is one stop.